I will therefore uh, call the Elk Creek Fire Protection District Pension Board of Trustees meeting to order at uh, 1810. Uh, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Please note that uh, the uh, members of the trustees uh, are here with the exception of uh, Director Rogers, who was excused but uh, was not able to make it. Um, and we have direct, uh, Trustee Branch and Trustee Wisniewski on the phone with us. Um, are there any additions, deletions, or deletions to the agenda? This is great, and I'm good. Okay. Hearing, I'm fine. Thank you. hearing none, a motion to approve. So moved. Oh, so moved. Second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, review and approval of the April 10th uh, regular meeting minutes. If you take a moment to review those. Any uh, additions, changes, what have you? Deletions? No change from when. That was great. I'm good as well. All right. Thank you. Move, move. Motion to approve. Move to approve. Second? I move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, any old business? I note here that it says here, Trustee Schwartz requested a comparison of net benefits from previous years. Did we? I emailed that to him. Oh, yes, that's right. About a week after. Uh, okay, yeah, I remember that. Okay, that's fine. Any other old business? Hearing none. Any uh, new business? You have before you the, uh, I guess this is the first quarter 2014 allocation report. Um, do it. I don't know. We, to, we don't have to do anything with this. This is just really for our information. Okay. Any other business that may be brought before the board? Not. Hearing none. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. So moved. All, of, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Meetings adjourned at uh, 1830. You're, you're, you're quite efficient, Alec. Well, I'm trying to keep up with Mike and all the people who've done this before me. Um, thank, thank you, Scott, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank we you really, I know it wasn't much, but it, when it is something, we need you here. So thank you. Sure, thanks very much. Glad to sure, meetings are good meetings. I agree with you. <laughs> uh, I think we'll move forward to just convene the regular meeting of the board of directors. Right, well. I don't think we need to uh, wait. All right. I'd like to call to order the regular meeting of the Elk Creek Fire Protection District Board of Directors uh, at 1814. Um, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for Thank you. Uh, board members, uh, all are present. Uh, Director Brands, Director Wisniewski are present by telephone. Uh, Director Rogers is uh, absent uh, but excused. Uh, are there any deletions uh, or additions to the agenda? Hearing none. Hearing none, motion to approve. So moved. Second? Aye. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Aye. Agenda, the uh, 
general, general, let's see. We have the minutes. Oh, we have the legal update first. Is that the story? Legal update and then, um, and, and. All right. Uh, Why don't we go ahead with Richard for okay. the legal update? All right. Let me come over so I can uh, make sure that uh, Lynn and um, Greg can hear me. Guys, can you hear me okay? Lynn. Uh, now, now we can. Okay. Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you. I, I just stepped up to the, the main table and I now have my back to the camera, but I guess that's okay. Um, uh, the, it's probably, it's probably much, that's my best side, don't you think? <laughs> Stan's telling them you know, the way it is. Okay. The, the one thing that I have, and um, since we have had a number of core requests in the year and a half that I've been back uh, representing the district, um, is uh, the legislature has come up with um, some changes to the uh, uh, CORA policy. CORA is the Colorado Open Records Act and requires that districts uh, and, and other governments um, go ahead and, and um, maintain uh, policies to uh, provide to anyone who requests it uh, information and in the past um, if people requested that information um, for um, uh, copies electronically there was no charge allowed under statute there was one court case that said well maybe you can charge a research and retrieval fee because that's really not fair and blah 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 well the, dist uh, the legislature has come in and said, okay, districts, here's the rules, and not just districts, but all local governments. Here's the new rules. If, if you want to do them, um, here's what you can do. You can adopt a policy that will allow you to um, uh, go ahead and, and continue to respond. If it's an electronic response, there's no charge for the copies. Uh, for paper responses, it's 20, uh, up to 25 cents a page. Um, however, there's a fee now of up to $30 per hour that would basically cover, in this district's uh, case, Marie's time to go back and she has to go up in the attic in Station 4 and go through the electronic um, uh, files that we now keep and all the rest of it to try and, and find what is being asked for. Um, and so that is, um, we think, much more reasonable because these things take a lot of time and then if they seem to be in preparation for litigation or something like that, then they usually run them through my office and now you have Marie's time and her hourly charge plus um, uh, legal time. And, and it gets expensive on some of these core responses. So, well, we have come up with, uh, SDA has come up with a, a version. We have done a slightly different version. We um, want to have you pass a resolution, which Marie will be 7-14-1. Uh, um, um, and uh, um, we would name, I would recommend that you name the uh, um, um, in here, well, first of all, the resolution states that um, we're going to adopt this policy, and the policy is under the statute. Then, um, uh, right behind that, and hopefully you guys all have that in your packet, we have um, a policy, and the policy states, and I assume that the blank in the policy, the second blank, the first blank is the name of the um, district as is the second, but the third blank is who is going to be designated. And I would recommend we don't put Marie's name in there, we put administrator. You know, or unless you want it to be the chief. I mean, that's that's why we didn't fill this in, because each district does it. But normally, it would, I would recommend you, you would fill in that third one um, as administrator, so that if Marie decides that she's going to retire at some point, um, that in fact, um, whoever her successor is, her assistant, whatever, um, is the keeper of the records. And this basically says, because there is in the statute um, uh, 
an inflationary rule that after five years you can raise these rates, number one, but also number two, uh, the legislature can change things. So this, the reason we're doing it as two different things, one as a re resolution, two as a policy, is that you go forward with um, uh, this uh, policy can be amended easily and you don't have to do another resolution. We have already adopted a resolution which says we have a policy, and we'll put that on our webpage, which is required, by the way. So, and then the third component of this is the request for the open records. And um, the reason I want this, and, and any of this that Marie wants electronically, of course, we'll uh, give it over to her, but it's a one-page document. Um, and what we want this for is so many times People come in and ask for something, and then we hand it to them. They say, "Oh, that's not really what we wanted," or you know, "You haven't given me enough, or you've given me too much, or whatever." So this way, they specify, and there's a listing area where they can specify that. And then Marie, with consult with Alec as treasurer or with the chief or whatever, can say, "Okay, well, we think you're talking about 400 pages at 25 cents a page. That's about 100 bucks." And because some of it goes back to 1992, um, we are going to um, spend some time on this. The first hour is under the statute is is free, and after that, it's up to thirty dollars per hour. And so, therefore, um, uh, we estimate what that is. Once you have this form uh, filled out by the requesting party and the check, then our three days runs. Because that's all we get. So we're days. asking for a deposit. We got to get a deposit right. because I just did one of these. They spent thirty hours of staff time. Um, maybe not that much. Twenty-four hours, at least three eight-hour days, um, maybe a little more. Um, uh, plus, um, they copied four hundred pages for this guy, wow. and. But this was prior to this new law being enacted. This went in on uh, uh, July 1, 2014. So um, we tried to hand them the uh, 400 page, said, here's what you asked for. But as you know, because you read the statute, because you quoted it to us, you owe us 25 cents a page. He said, oh, I'm not paying that. So this prevents it. So now we have 20 some hours of staff time some legal time, plus uh, 400 sheets of paper, and, and get nothing. nothing. And he didn't get anything. I mean, we may end up giving it to him anyhow. The board's kind of thinking about it, but that's not your board. I just, uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, but no, Stan. I mean, the the question mark that crossed your face. I I have the same question mark. Trust me. But I'm not on the board, so I don't make those calls. But to me, um, this takes care of all that because. We say pay the uh, check in advance, and it's an estimate, and, and it has to be, I mean, if it's stuff like we want last month's minutes, you guys, we, you know, why even charge for that? I mean, it's, you know, going through all this process might be more headache than it's even worth, but... Could you, could you tell me why we shouldn't just uh, designate the fire chief as the official custodian? Of the I don't care. It's either because then the fire well the fire chief can make that assignment because it says here that the person official custodian of the record shall have authority to designate such agents as he right. and so forth. So since the fire chief is our administrative head or CEO, I would suggest that we fine uh, make the fire chief. The, uh, some some districts want their administrator. Some districts yeah. want their fire chief. Some districts want it to be their chief operating officer if they're a water district. I mean, that's why we left a blank there, uh, uh, Alec. That's exactly why we did that. So um, if you want fire chief and then he's going to immediately turn it over to her, that, I don't That's fine. Yeah, I don't but that's, up to, that's his discretion, that's, his and that's what he... Right, right. And that's your that CEO. So, yeah, right. I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, how about it, uh, Landon, Greg? Hello. Are you there? All of that, they fell asleep. Yes, sorry, mine was muted. I'm good. Okay. Len? Len? Well, we got to keep going here. Yeah. Um, we still got a quorum. So. Yeah, so let's, let's uh, 
move along. Uh, well, that's fine. Are there anything else? No, I recommend the, um, the uh, first of all, I recommend the adoption of Resolution 7 slash 14 dash 1 uh, for the Elk Creek Fire District. Uh, is stating that you will put in a CORA um, uh, policy and, um, um, and that we'll go forward with that in accordance with both state and federal law. And, and is it understood in that uh, recital of a motion that the attached policy is why don't, we, why, why don't we not just understand it? Let's go ahead and say that it right. is part of the motion right. that you also adopt uh, the uh, policy um, request um, as promoted on the same date with the um, uh, the board of directors designating their fire, fire chief, chief as uh, the custodian of the records. And we also adopt the form. And that you adopt the form and, and make that part of it. Right. Yep, and it's all attached. All right. And, and so, so, Richard, you're actually making the motion, is that correct? I can't make the motion. I'm we'll, right we'll, we'll make the motion. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Second? Greg? Hello? Greg? Hello, Greg? Yes. Say, say second. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I didn't, I could not hear you very good there, so second. Okay. All, right. uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Yeah. Aye. Um, it just makes sense. Uh, it does make sense. It's uh, for once the legislature has actually done something that I think is is uh, uh, up to date. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and ask you that we skip ahead in the agenda to the 2013 audit. Sure. Mm -hmm. and, you can do that. And then, um, which is really just one more step down and then you guys can uh, approve your m meeting minutes for the June right. meeting. Um, Greg, are you still with us? Yes, I am. All right. Is Len there? Apparently not. I think we've lost Len. Okay. Um, anyhow, um, we had some concerns about the 2013 minutes. Uh, anyway, sorry, audit. Um, and, uh, they weren't enormous concerns, but they were little things. There were some factual things in there, which I talked to Alec about, and, and he agreed. It's just not a big deal. We just changed them. They had that the district was formed in 1981. Well, I was council in 1981. Trust me, I did not form the Elk Creek Fire Protection District. It was done in 49, but they thought, for whatever reason, the fire department was done in 49 and then converted. But we did do some conversion things of the fire department, and Ed can uh, uh, tell you about this too, uh, from the fire department into the district in 1981. Because, because the way the two were set up, what I was afraid of is that our volunteers were not covered by governmental immunity because they weren't under the district. So we kind of combined. I think, and Alec agreed with me, that's probably what they picked up on. I don't know what they picked up on, but it it, yeah, it could be. But anyhow, um, uh, that's uh, where we are on um, uh, one of the things. The other thing is, is that they pointed out that we overspend your um, your budgeted amount by thirty six thousand mm -hmm. dollars, so, but but that was because of the lower North Fork fire. You also brought in several hundred thousands of dollars, so that you were only over by thirty is amazing to me. But anyhow, because you spent almost two hundred thousand fighting that fire mm -hmm. of, of our um, uh, monies, and then you got reimbursed later. Well. Um, you know, what I did is I added some language that said we did not exceed the appropriated amount. And that's the key. And, and Al can um, uh, agree with me on that. It's the, the key is you cannot exceed your appropriated amount. Well, we appropriate all of the funds of the district, mm -hmm. except for the pension fund, right. every year. So we were way in excess, probably $200,000 or something like that in excess, maybe not that much, but a lot in excess. So we did not violate it. But if you just put that in there in an audit, that you exceeded your budget, we're in a ding letter, and then it's going to come back to Marie, and she's going to have to start working on it. 
go back to the auditor, maybe come to me. It just costs us money. And so I want to take, I, I try to nip that. In the They've bottom. incorporated that. In they they just they just they yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. No so 10. No 10 on okay. page 23 or so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, That's been incorporated. In yeah, that. yeah, it was. So um, uh, based on that and then a few of our other, we had some questions about what they had in there. Um, they dealt with the pension fund differently than we've seen in the past and some other things. But you know, they explained it and they believe that what they're doing is in accordance with GASB. And GASB is the Government Accounting Standards Board um, requirements. And that's, uh, they believe they did it right. So um, I, I'm not an auditor. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> I, I will, you know, and I don't disagree with what they're saying as long as once I point out something that you know that they're in accord with their rules and regs under the. So they have an answer for it. And they have an answer for it under the. AI so standard. right now, we're good to go. I recommend that you approve the 2013 okay. audit as provi provided to you by Ruben Boron. Can I have a motion to that effect? Yes, Ms. Craig, I'll make a motion to that effect. Second. Do you have a question? I I was just looking at something. I made a note when I was looking at this earlier. Why don't you second it and let's go to the discussion? Yeah, I second it. Okay, discussion. No, it's not. You sure? Yeah, I'm no. positive. And and that is just their help help right. That's not part of it. that won't go to the state. Okay. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 It's approved. Gentlemen, that, thank you very much. Yep, that's all I've got for you, unless you have other things for me. I'll uh, just uh, goodbye and good luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me good luck because I'm doing, and Greg, you're doing this with me, aren't you? Aren't you doing the triple bypass on Saturday with me? <laughs> Actually, uh, I'd love to. I'm out of town right now, so I won't be back at that time. Uh, okay. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, you and I do it together, right? Absolutely. We're, 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 we're in step completely. Right. So that's what I'm doing. Let's, let's, hope, so. let's hope it's just the bicycle race. This is the triple <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And and then we don't get one of those thunderbolts yeah, that really. kick our butts. So. Okay. All right. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Yep. See you later. Have See a good you later. Time. Yep. Bye, Greg. Take care. Uh, all right. While, while we're on the finance matters, why don't we just go through that? Uh, we have the. Uh, Financial reports for June, and I reviewed it. Um, and uh, I think probably when the chief returns, we'll take another look at it and see uh, how we're doing after six months with regard to our budget. But for the moment, uh, I'd like uh, a motion to approve $116,000. $116,408 of expenses for the month of June. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passed. Uh, and you have in your packet uh, a statement of cash worth we've already seen. Uh, the fire chief report, uh, Deputy Chief Ware, I think is out on a call still. Is that right? He was going to present the uh, report, but it is printed in your materials. And uh, is there anything else we have to add to that? The only other thing he was going to add was that the newsletter, the Bugle, yeah. um, has gone out. Okay. It's been received by, I'm not sure if it, everyone's received it, but some were received yesterday, some today. Good. So it has been distributed. Great. Good. Um, the only thing he mentions here, Greg, is the, the I, I don't know if you read this, The uh, our, our two trucks have been delayed. I guess one was delayed because of a canceled uh, some kind of a canceled order, and the other, yes. yeah, the other one, you know, is in the Dodge dealer, and they'll get here eventually. Uh, right. the, the other, the other thing he mentions here is that there'll be an oral board for the hiring of the shift lieutenant on Saturday, and I guess uh, some of are you, you're involved in that, Scott's involved in that, so um, that'll go on. Also, we have slash collection uh, this Saturday as well, probably another. 10 or 15 other events probably going on at the same time, at least. Yes. Elevation celebration. Uh, elevation celebration. And my chainsaw is fixed. We've got to celebrate that. 
<laughs> took me all day yesterday to do that. They'll be setting up some recruiting yep, for the right. celebration. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, any old business? I have not. Uh, any new business? Any citizens issues? Man. You kind of get the review and approval of June 2012 regular we'll meeting minutes. We'll get back to that. Thank you for, okay. for mentioning. Is that the citizen issue of the night? That was the only. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure you didn't miss that. Yeah, okay. Well, then let's, 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 that was a citizen <laughs> issue, so let's go back and review uh, the June 12, 2014 regular meeting minutes briefly. Okay, any additions, subtractions, deletions? I move we accept the June 12th. Do I have a second? Yes, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Happy now. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Do I have a motion? Oh. Yeah. Second. Aye. That was Lynn. Is that Lynn? Yeah. Uh, motion passes. We're adjourned at uh, 1836. Thank you.